Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Advent comes from the Latin word aventus, which means coming. Advent begins the church's new liturgical year, starting with four Sundays of Advent and four Sundays before Christmas. The season of Advent has been set aside as a time of preparation since the sixth century. Advent is a time for preparing for Christ's second coming. Even as we remember and celebrate his first coming at Christmas. This is why the color of the season of Advent is purple, which denotes and symbolizes forgiveness and repentance to receive him. On this first Sunday in Advent, we light the first candle, which is the candle of hope. It speaks of the patriarchs of Abraham, of the Old Testament ancestors of Jesus. Peace and light in Jesus Christ our Lord, thanks be to God. Today, on this first Sunday of Advent, we recall the hope of those who sought the Redeemer. God told Abraham that through him all the nations of the world would be blessed because he trusted and put his hope in God. The Old Testament spoke of the coming of Christ, of how a Savior would be born, a king in the line and lineage of King David, that he would rule the world wisely and bless all the nations. We do believe in God's promise to send Jesus again into our world and to establish his kingdom upon earth. Hope is like a light shining in a dark place. As we look at the light of this candle, we celebrate the hope that all have in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, the Father of Abraham, and all the patriarchs of old, you are our Father. Your love is revealed to us in Christ Jesus, the Son of the son of David. Help us in preparing to celebrate his birth and to make our hearts ready and to place our hope in you. Help us today and every day to worship you, to hear your word, and to do your will by sharing your hope with others. We ask all of this in the name of the one who was born in Bethlehem. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now, let us turn on to the altar of God and make an examination of our conscience.
and now I will offer the act, the confidior. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all of the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wait. For you, O Lord, I lift up my soul to my God, and you I trust. Do not let me disgrace. Do not let my enemies gloat over me. No one is disgraced who waits for you, but only those who lightly break faith. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son as our Savior and Redeemer. May we be his true and faithful followers, so that when he comes again, he may find us awake and performing our assigned tasks. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On this, the first Sunday of Advent, we take the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. O that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you. Why you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen. Any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would did that remind me us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways? Behold, you are angry, and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name who rouses himself to cling to you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rise, rouse your power, and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine, and protect what your right hand has planted the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. 
Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your help be with a man of your right hand, with the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. Paul the, to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My soul rests in God alone, from whom comes my salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all. Watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised, now and forevermore. Amen. Yet you, O Lord, you are our Father. You are the clay and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. These words are taken from today's reading, from the Old Testament of the book of Isaiah the prophet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. 
Today, many denominations of the Christian church begin a new liturgical calendar year. And it begins on this, the first Sunday of Advent. In the three-year cycle, different readings are read. And today we have new readings that brings us into a different perspective of the beginning of this liturgical year. One of the things that we see different is that we have the addition of the Advent candle. Now the Advent candle has four candles representing each of the four Sundays of Advent. Today we light the first candle and it symbolizes hope. Hope is defined in many ways, but it basically comes down to an expectation. Now for us of the Christian church, there is the expectation that as the prophets of old talked of a deliverer as a Messiah who would come and redeem his people, it is as though we light the first light and we come closer to an understanding of the reason and the purpose that our blessed Lord came. In the first book of Genesis, we read where man fell from the grace of God through his own free will. And that, according to the story of the Garden of Eden, man was led out of the garden by God. And for close to 4,000 years, man tried to reach that first Edenic state where he was totally united with God, where there was no knowledge of good and evil, but of only God. And through the history, as we read in Holy Scripture, there were prophets who were sent by God to proclaim, and as God's spokesman, to speak of the coming of the Messiah. The first covenant of what we could call the covenant of hope was given unto Abraham, a patriarch. And it was God who established the first covenant with Abraham, where God would bless his future generations and that they would be more numerous than of all the stars. It just seemed that over the history as we see within Holy Bible, man constantly fell away from God. And no matter of God's kindness and compassion and love, man still could not reach that first estate with God. And so, today, lighting the first candle of hope, we hope for many things. We hope that God would be with us through our good times and through our bad times. And especially as we look back on this year, we have seen so much suffering, so much pain of those that have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. And there is a commonality of hope regardless of what your background might be. It is a hope and a prayer that we would be delivered out of that which has affected so many, where over 263,000 people have died and in which many more will die before the end of this year. We hope and we believe because as being a Christian, it is not just a matter of hope, but it is also a part of our faith. And in that faith is our hope. We truly believe that God is with us, 
that he hears our prayers, that he feels our sufferings. And it is in our faith and it is in our hope that God would deliver us from all obstacles. You know, in today's reading from the book of Isaiah the prophet, we hear the words, you are our father. It is in our faith that God created us in his own image and likeness, and it was done out of love. Isaiah has a different perspective in which he says, we are the clay, and you, Father, are the potter. In our faith and our hope, as we reach out to God, we realize that if God is given an opportunity to be in our lives, he forms us. He forms us to be the kind of people that we should be, loving, caring for one another, and all reaching to the Creator. And so, may we realize that we are the work of the Father's hand. And may we continue in our faith and our hope and our trust that whatever may come our way, that as long as we stay faithful, God will answer those things that are for our good and for our salvation. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, as we gather, and to give God worship in our praise and thanksgiving, let us remember in our prayers some of the following intentions. In our prayers, let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the homeless and the hungry, and the unemployed, let us petition our Father by saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day that God would be merciful and bless all those who are suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic, those in the ICUs. We also pray unto the Lord 
that he would bless and give strength and comfort to all the caretakers and the hospital workers, the nurses, the doctors, the first responders. May God hear our prayer and let us say unto the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day that all people might be united in one faith, realizing that there is but one God. And let us as a part of his creation be ever in a position of giving worship and praise and honor to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember also in our prayers all abused and neglected children in our world, as well as all those who are victims of violence, both here and abroad. We pray unto the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray this day for all those who serve in our armed forces, that God would protect and watch over them until they're able to be returned to their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous and be strong. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made. May it become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become our spiritual drink. O oh Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you this day with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your most holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they, whose memories we honor on earth, intercede for us in heaven. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have set aside the season to nourish our hope and our trust. You gathered us in expectation around your holy altar. Transform our gifts and return them to us that we may lack no spiritual gift as we await the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. For through the promised sending of Jesus Christ to earth for us, you revealed your goodness and unending love, sharing in the hope of the patriarchs and prophets. May we worthily prepare a dwelling place for the coming Messiah within our hearts. And so therefore we join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him your word was made flesh, in him the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us. He broke the power of darkness over us. He took our guilt upon himself. He reconciled us to you and unlocked the new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life, he has revealed your love to us. He humbled himself and became obedient, even to death on a cross, and by rising, restored our life. On the night in which he was betrayed, to undergo that suffering which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands and lifting his eyes to heaven to you his heavenly father he gave thanks he blessed the bread broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat it for this is my body which is given for you When supper had ended, he took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim. Your resurrection we celebrate. Your return in glory we await. Therefore, Father, we remember his saving passion, his glorious resurrection, and his exaltation at your right hand. We await his coming in the fullness of majesty. We here set forth the sign of our faith in him, who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit, the giver of life and holiness, upon us and upon these gifts, the bread and wine of eternal life. Holy Spirit, come to us. Fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice through which we offer ourselves to you, so that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be a sharing in the body and blood of your Son. May all who receive these gifts from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with your saints and chosen ones, 
with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of our Lord, and with all your saints, your prophets, apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, and with all who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Bless your church throughout the world. Grant it unity and peace. Renew the earth according to your promise. Remember all peoples and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worshiping and praising your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. My dear brothers and sisters, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ come into your heart, hearts at this moment. Thanks be to God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and I will call upon the name of the Lord, Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as there are many of us who are not able to receive the Blessed Sacrament, let us offer this prayer and act as spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. 
I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart to that which I have taken as food. And may the gifts I have received this day bring me healing and strength, now and forever. Amen. I am coming quickly. Hold fast to what you have, so that no one may take your crown. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, through your coming to us in the Word and in the Eucharist, may we be prepared to face you at the final hour. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon all of you. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be found within all your hearts. Thanks be to God. Let us go forth this day and proclaim that indeed in our faith we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and his second coming. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and with your loved ones. I welcome, for you, I welcome you as we have offered the holy sacrifice of the Mass. And it is our prayers and it is our hope that the blessed Lord would bless all of us as we gather in his most holy name. Let us conclude this morning's service with the offering of prayer for all the intentions that we offered. Let us remember again in our prayers all the sick and that God's blessings and that the touch of the divine physician might heal all our brothers and sisters who are sick and ill. We will also conclude with the offering of prayer for the repose of the souls of all faithful departed brothers and sisters. May God be with all of you until we come together again.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of all our faithful departed brothers and sisters, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.